Is this drone shot legal? Well, if a drone pilot flies over themselves to get a shot, that's totally fine. Same goes for flying over a visual observer. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, considers both the remote pilot and visual observer as participants in the operation. But what about flying over anyone else who isn't directly part of your flight? Well, that's where the rules get a bit more complicated. Let's break it down. Hey everyone, this is Adam with UAV Coach, a leading drone education company. When it comes to flying over people, there are a few basic requirements you'll always need to meet, such as being Part 107 certified, having a remote ID, propeller guards, an anti-collision light, and sometimes a visual observer to help maintain line of sight, if not a beyond visual line of sight waiver. After that, it mostly comes down to weight. If your drone weighs under 249 grams or 0.55 pounds, with those safety accessories attached, you're generally good to go, meaning no waiver is needed. Drones that fit these requirements include the DJI Neo or lightweight custom FPV builds. If your drone falls between about 249 and 399 grams, such as the DJI Avada 2 or some of the mini series when fully equipped, you'll need a waiver from the FAA before flying over people. If your drone weighs over 399 grams, you'll need that same waiver plus an ASTM certified parachute system. In short, the heavier your drone, the more the FAA expects you to prove it can operate safely around people. Now, here's how the FAA actually classifies these operations. The agency uses four drone categories to determine what's considered safe. Category one drones weigh under 250 grams, including everything attached. They can fly over people and at night as long as remote ID is active and there are no exposed rotating parts that could cause injury. This category is where the DJI Neo would fall into, like I mentioned previously. Categories 2 through 4 cover larger, more advanced drones that have undergone FAA testing or certification to prove they're safe for these kinds of flights. In reality, very few consumer or commercial drones meet these requirements today. These categories mainly apply to specialized or industrial aircraft, not the ones most everyday pilots use. So while the FAA has a detailed framework for flying over people, for most drone pilots, it still comes down to using lightweight gear, following safety basics, and staying compliant with remote ID and waiver rules. Next, let's discuss details involving visual observers or VOs for short. First, who can be your VO? Well, a VO is anyone who helps you maintain visual line of sight with the drone. They don't need to be certified, but they must be briefed and be able to communicate with you immediately. So can your subject be your VO? Well, technically yes, if they're focused on the drone and directly participating in the operation. But if they're acting in the scene or distracted, the FAA wouldn't consider them an active VO, meaning they're just a bystander. There is also really no limit to how many VOs you can have. They just need to be focused on one drone at a time. Now, I also see comments saying that the FAA doesn't really enforce this stuff. And that's kind of true. Complaints or reported incidents drive most actions. But the rules still exist to protect you and the public. Following them isn't just about avoiding fines, it's about professionalism and credibility as a pilot, which ultimately helps out the entire drone community. To wrap up, flying over yourself or your visual observer is completely fine. And if you want to fly over random bystanders, you can only do so if your drone meets those specific FAA conditions. Let us know if you've ever used a visual observer in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.